Welcome to my sideboard diaries. In this series of videos, we are going to see sidecore indexing with Solar. This is the first part of the uh, series. In this in this video, we are going to talk about search engines by default search engine provided by Sitecode along with the default indexes. Let me introduce myself. I am Jitendra Ganekar. I am a Sitecode 10.NET certified developer. So this is the uh, video series where we are going to see. We already had a solar videos before, so we will recap those videos. We will see different default search engine configurations. We will talk about the default search indexes. Then we will see the index update strategies, the best practice related to index update strategies, indexing tools in Sitecore. Then we will see solar field name format. We will see what is computed fields. We will discuss about index optimization techniques and then the finally solar queries. So all these topics are the divided into multiple uh, parts. So today's part we are going to see first three points that is solar uh, recap of the video search engine configuration default search indexes. Later on we will see uh, the indexing update strategies and then computed fields and solar field in part 3. Then we will have a separate video for index uh, optimization and then we have a last part with fa part 5 with the solar query. So before starting today's uh, uh, topic, let me request you if you are not uh, subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please click on a bell icon to get a latest update and if you like the video please click on a like button to share with your friends and colleagues and do provide your feedback via the comment so let's start today's topic on our channel we already have two videos which is created related to the solar so that playlist i will be giving in the uh, comment as well as in the description you can have a look on that so there are two videos which we have done the first video is what is apache solar apache solar introduction for the beginners in this video we have talked about what is solar what is solar cloud what is search tags what are the different terminology used in solar okay so that is very important to, uh, to understand the solar concept and the another video which we have done is how to download and set up the solar in windows 10 so second video which basically is you allow uh, gives the step to uh, stepwise guide to install the solar so these two videos we can have a look and understand the concept okay so i will be giving the link in the uh, description as well as in the comment you can have a look on those videos now when we talk about the search engines in uh, Sitecode, there are two types of searches we are having. One is a contained search. So contained search is basically, uh, it's it's a search within Sitecode Experience Manager. So the content which is coming in the content search is from master, web and code. Whereas the X content search, that is another search, which is used for a Sitecode Experience platform and content is coming from the XDB Experience Database. So these are the two contents, uh, two searches available in the site code. In this video series, we are going to talk about, we are going to concentrate about content search. The site code by default supports three uh, search engines, Solar, Azure Search and Lucens. You can have a custom, your own custom uh, search engine also like OVO, you can use it. Okay, so, but these are the three uh, search engine which is supported by the uh, default by the site code. Solar is the default search engine for the content search and xconnect search for on-premise installation. So if you are using on-premise instance of a site code, then Solar is your default search engine. Microsoft Azure search is the default search engine for cloud deployment on Microsoft Azure Pass. If you are using site code pass, then the Microsoft Azure search is your default search engine. If you are using a scaled environment, okay, so use Solar for a scaled environment on premise installation. So you are having the on premise instance of the site code and that is a scaled environment, then go for a Solar. 
if you are having azure pass that is also a scale environment then you have a two options solar and azure search okay both you can use azure search is by default it comes if not then you can go to the so if you want to use the solar then you can use the solar there is some limitation in azure search that we will talk in the next uh, slide okay so depending on that you can choose the uh, the what solar engine you want to use it uh, the search engine you want to use the next one is the lucens lucens is only for the development or a single server evaluation environment okay it is used only for the site code experience manager you cannot use lucent in a scale environment okay it is not supported in the production environment also and the most important thing is lucent supports only content search xconnect search is not supported by the lucent so these are the three search engines which we are available in the site code so we will talk about limitation of Azure search where we will not be going in detail. I will just brief you what are the uh, limitation in Azure search. We might have a, another video about the Azure search which is solar, okay, where we can talk about in detail. But for now, we are just briefing you what is uh, the, uh, the limitation of Azure search. So if you are using site code 9.0 and lower than that, then substring searches that are limited to the single term, for instance, predicts dot start with dot ends with and dot contains will match parts of the terms and will match terms that are located in any part of the field value. When multiple terms are passed, each term is se searched separately. Regular expression spanning multiple terms returns zero results. So if you are having containing contain spaces in the exp uh, uh, then it results zero result. Multiple terms that are passed to dot wildcard are interrupted as individual wildcards in the fields scope query. The facet values are calculated based on individual terms in faceted uh, fields, not on the whole field values when the values contain a multiple words. So these are the limitation in the, if you are using the lower version. Along with that, uh, the one which now I am going to tell you that is also there. But if you are using uh, the site code 9.0.1 and uh, uh, above the, the 9.0.1, then these a limitation will not be developed but now the one which we are discussing those will be there for the uh, azure search okay for the higher version of a site but still azure cognitive search index can only contain up to thousand fields dot group join dot self join other operators like used for a join queries are not supported in the azure search combined range queries with search using a logical operator or produce an error so all doesn't work in azure for the range queries Range queries on the string feed always operates on the whole field value without tokenization are, and are case sensitive. Does not support the same field name but different types in different documents. So you have a different documents for them, same field name will doesn't work. So these are the limitations of the Azure search. I know I have not gone in detail. I have not explained what it is exactly. So we will we will have a maybe separate video on that. For not, it is not a part of this book for now. Okay. So these are the uh, search engines in the, uh, these are the limitation of the Azure search. Then we talk about uh, uh, how how we can specify which uh, search provider is uh, uh, used in the site code in your website. So that can be defined in the web.config app setting sections where you can specify add key search defined equal to solar. So this means we are using a solar. The values which are available are solar, lucens and azure. Okay, so whatever you want to use it, you can say specify here. So this is what the uh, search. How, this is how you can provide uh, give the uh, specify the search provider. Now let's talk about the default search indexes. So there are different default indexes which are available in this site. Or by default, it, it, these site indexes are used. So first of all is the site for master index and the master database that contains all version of every item including unpublished version. So whatever data data which is there in the master database that get indexed into the site for master, uh, master index. Okay. Then you have a site for web index, the web database that contains only published version of every item in all languages. So basically the published version will stored in the site for web index. Sitecore core index, the core database and the item that defined in the Sitecore CMS interface, whatever they are in the core database that will go in the Sitecore core index. Then we have a Sitecore underscore testing underscore index. 
the test definitions items used in the test list in the experience optimization and the experience editor this does not include the suggested test list it is also used in sidecore client ui to report on any test present on item so whatever you are seeing in the uh, analytics reports also uh, which are related to test that is also coming from the sidecore testing index the test definitions items are uh, stored in the sidecore testing index when you have sidecore suggested test index to so provide storage for computed values of all the contained items in the content tree and is used to suggest the item that should be optimized so it basically gives the uh, storage for the computed values of the contained items in the content tree so and it also suggests that which uh, which item it needs to be optimized this index drives the suggested test list in the experience optimization inside the experience editor it is also used in sidecore client ui to show when the test has ended so there is in in in, in if you are using a multivariate test and you are using in the side you are seeing in the sidecore analytics there also you can see when that test is ended so that when it is ended that guy is shown by the sidecore suggested test index then you have some uh, indexes for the marketing definition one is associated with master another is associated with the web web then you have a marketing asset index master uh, then you have a sidecore testing index so sidecore underscore marketing underscore asset underscore index master the core database and the item that defined in the sidecore cms interface sidecore underscore testing index the marketing asset data that is stored in master database uh, sidecore underscore marketing asset underscore index underscore web that is the marketing assets uh, asset data that is stored in the web database apexm uh, master index and sidecore apexm web master index all version of a uh, they, those store basically the FXM website uh, contain. Okay. Then uh, where those these uh, search indexes are stored? Okay, should be stored. So for the content manager, if you see all those indexes, sorry, all used indexes are uh, stored in the content manager like core index master web. Uh, marketing definition master asset index master apexm indexes uh, for both master and web testing index suggested test index all are there in the content management whereas for the content delivery we have only the web indexes like sidecore web index marketing marketing definition web index marketing asset index web uh, apexm web index so all the web indexes are stored in the content delivery Then there are some configuration side code uh, uh, you have to do to, with the side code uh, to work with the solar. So when you install the solar, it automatically does it. But you should be knowing those what are those uh, indexes. First thing is the add connection string. So you need to add the connection string in the uh, connection dot config where solar dot search will give you the connection string where uh, this connection string is basically the URL of your solar. Then enabling the search provider. This setting tells sidecore that is solar is enabled. So setting uh, content search dot provider is equal to value is equal to solar. That tells you that solar is enabled. Maximum number of search results. So maximum number of documents to retrieve a single request. One request. How many maximum number of result can be uh, can be uh, retrieved? That is defined by the content search dot search max result. Then enabling the batch mode. Whether you want to have the batch mode enabled, there are two configuration which we have to do. First is the batch mode enabled, that is content search dot update dot batch mode enabled, whether true or false. If true, it will it will work with the batch, and that batch how many records if each batch will have that two is defined by the content search dot update batch size value is equal to five. So we are done for today's uh, uh, video. So before closing, let's summarize what are the things which we have seen uh, in today's video. We have seen the there are two types of search, contain search and X-Connect search. Contain search is used in experience manager. X-Connect search is used in the experience pla uh, platform. Uh, then we have a solar Azure search and Lucent as a default pro uh, default search engine on premise if you are using a sidecore on premise then solar is a default if you are using a sidecore pass then the azure search is a uh, a default azure search has some limitations so you have to careful using while careful using azure search you can have a uh, solar on the pass also 
Then we have seen the default indexes in Sitecore. We have just run through the default indexes. Uh, then we have seen where which indexes can be stored in CM and CD role. And then finally we have seen the what are the configuration which is which is required to run Sitecore with Soda. So this is the summary of the today's video. If you like the video, please click on a like button to share with your friends and uh, uh, colleagues. Do provide your comments, uh, do you provide your feedback via comment. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, I will suggest to subscribe to the channel and also click on a bell, uh, uh, a bell icon and, uh, and uh, as, as, as I'm not uploading you the videos on the specific time. So whenever I upload it, you can get the uh, notification if you click on the bell icon. That's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching uh, today's video. Thank you.